citations at time can some bring some more of their life to. In this one, I'm playing as Jan Lee, obviously, one of the fastest characters in the game, with uh, J uh, Zach. And one thing I want to point out is uh, Jan Lee's a Bruce Lee clone, I believe, um, as well as the uh, other Bruce Lee clones in other fighting games as well. Maxi from Soul Calibur, Tekken, which is a uh, forest law and uh, martial law, and obviously uh, Mortal Kombat, you got Liu Kang. Oh, well, another awesome thing about Liu Kang, Zombie Liu Kang and Deception. Uh, don't worry, I will be playing more combat very soon. Yeah, just this video gets um, a couple of likes, and I will do uh, some more of a. Uh, well, it doesn't matter anyway. I was about to say, uh, uh, did a live with Daniel or whatever. I will be doing some other live too in the future as well as did live forward as well. So don't worry. Oh yeah. Um, the thing about forest football and law. This has nothing to do with the game, but I'm just going to tell you this. Forest law is like Uga and uh, Kenny Mitsu that appears in some of the uh, Dead or Light, I mean Tekken games. They're one of the rarest characters. I was about to say Bruce Irvin, but still. Let's not talk about these guys. Let's talk about uh, Dead or Alive. I'll see Dead or Alive um, 4. Dan Lee knocks down a seat T Rex to save the Tommy. And she's like, what did you do that for? Or something like that. Get real. He knocked down a T Rex. As well as in this game, he smashes down a tree trunk with his fist. His bare fist. A very thick tree. Yeah. There's obviously another cutscene that like, is in this game. Where he takes out the candle and everybody's like, I could do that, but trust me, you'll get burned if you do it. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, uh, it's Kasumi vs. Gen Lee. And I just knocked Kasumi down a, uh, a cliff, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> and there comes uh, Lei Feng, another great character. I would like to call her a number four, she's a shredder. You just shred your health if you know how to use it properly. Well, for me, she will. And in this game, she hasn't got that charge and attack. That I like to use all the time, but still. Very good character. I have to call her the most dominant character in the female uh, character uh, section. Mainly because she just works the best for me. And let's see if she's going to give me any trouble right now. And she faces against uh, my Jan Lee here. Oh yeah, my favorite costume of Jan Lee ever in a um, fighting game. Either has to be the Dead Life or Jan Lee with a flaming uh, costume. And also, um, what's it called? The other Jan Lee from number two, where he wears the uh, the other, um, he wears the uh, vest, the white vest. Kind of reminds me of Forest Law from Tekken, Tekken Titan. So, yeah. Another thing I want to point out about Gen Lee as well is the fact that they try to copy the cutscene number 5 of him and Ryu Hayabusa which has to be the best cutscene ever so he always has the best cutscene in the video games to be fair you got that number, one. number 2 he's got the best cutscene with Ryu and number 4 is like the nunchuck cutscene when I first saw that cutscene everybody in my family would just love to watch it everybody in my family used to just buy like, I like, like imitating the cutscene and stuff like that. It's telling me how ninja in my hands in it, which is really really cool. Yeah. <clears throat> and this is the stage I was talking about earlier in other what my other videos and this stage is called Danger Zone. Isn't every single video dead, dead or alive? Apart from the original Dead Alive uh, 5. And number six is not in there. I think it's like the new Dead Alive games that Indigaki didn't make. Were mainly missing some stuff. Like I don't get how the 3DS dimensions has all the best stages. There's the collection of all those stages. And obviously it was a, it was on a handheld console, which means probably the budget was lower. Yeah. I don't get how they got all these great stages in there. And number six, all the stages. Like one of the stages in number six was good. I don't like the rest of them anyway. Oh, that stage is called the unforgettable stage. That was the most best stage ever, how they took back the, uh, what's it called? You know, how they took back uh, a mixed uh, media museum stage 
with that Gambler's Paradise from, uh, station before, which was awesome. As well as the Miyam, it's the Secret Miyama. Am I right? That's how you pronounce it right. <coughs> as well, there's one more stage in that stage. Yeah, that's it, HK, uh, Deo Tech, or whatever you want to call it. From level 3, we get kicked in. You get to kick him down the build, uh, in front of the glass window, and there's two ways you can land through the glass window. And there's one way uh, you can land through the uh, through that hole thing where you land in the lab. Yeah. Anyway, here it goes. It's the final fight. Me against Tengu one on one. No cheating. No questions asked. Nothing. Just me and him one on one. They're gonna make this entrance. As if he's a mini boss or something. He's not really a mini boss, he's, a, he's the main boss. But still. And also, you get another cutscene here after this fight called the ending cutscene. A nice counter. Counter number two. Yeah. Pretty cool. Counter number three. And I think that's it. Let's see if I can make a comeback. Oh, I wasn't able to. But I will be recording some Dead Live Dimensions and the story mode and some gameplay and stuff like that. Which I did download Dimensions uh, a few days ago um, for the Citroën emulator, which is the 3DS emulator. Which would be really, really cool. I love that game. It's based off from number 4, basically. Yeah. Let's see if I can beat him. And then bite the dust. Yeah, I think this is it. Yeah, finish. So obviously I'm gonna it was Highland Camp 7 and signing out. And obviously I'll let you see the cutscene here. This is what the cutscene I was talking about earlier. We smashed the stream chunk with his own fist. Pay attention. Bad. And it was Highland Camp 7. Come like, subscribe, turn the notification bell, and bye.